Have you been bothered about using multiple invoicing solutions for different branches across India? Does using a different ERP altogether need a distinct invoicing setup? Not at all. We have unified invoicing and eWable solution for all your branches. Also, we can integrate with your system for invoicing in the shortest span possible of 3 to 7 days for all your branches that may range from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Hello and welcome to everyone. I'm Annapurna from Clear, from the makers of Clear Tax. We are India's largest tax and financial services software platform, serving more than 3,000 large enterprises, more than 4 lakh growing businesses, including many well known brands. Welcome back to our channel. And if you happen to be new here, I have an exciting announcement for new subscribers. We have an exclusive free GST compliance calendar for you that will help you stay 100% compliant without any stress throughout the year. To claim it, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the form provided in the description below. In this video, let me give you a clear picture of what issues can come up if you have multiple invoicing solutions for different branches and how you can resolve them by using the clear invoicing platform with a detailed demo. So let's begin without further ado. To understand the issues and challenges, I divide my discussion into two parts. First one, e-invoicing setup in branches and secondly, daily invoicing operations at branches. E-invoicing setup is not an easy task at hand if there is no thorough understanding of workflows involved, participating teams or departments, understanding of business scale and awareness among users. The organization at a PAN level may face lack of accessibility of all invoices at a single place or a central repository, making it difficult for you to ensure GST compliance and generation of IRN. Different ERPs being not cloud-based for each branch or GSTIN looking into their convenience and scale of business operations. In such circumstances, direct ERP integrations with the NIC or the government portal prove to be humongous and time-consuming for you. Incompatibility issues, especially in inter-branch transfers, can arise, leading to huge spending on testing and integration fixes. With every new government update or NIC portal change, there is a considerable lag in adapting to such changes on your ERP system. If this happens at every branch or GSTIN, it could lead to inconsistent invoice generation and reporting across the organization, bringing down its goodwill in the market and among consumers. On the other hand, your daily invoicing becomes a cumbersome task where the head office collates invoices of every branch to generate IRN and signed QR codes. It leads to a slow IRN generation rate with a high downtime. Head office may not be able to handle a large number of invoices and the system often breaks down at a large scale processing. Are you enjoying the learning? Do type in your e-invoicing queries in the comment section and we'll come back to you with answers. Let's proceed to the most awaited section of this video on how you can resolve the multiple branch handling issues we just pointed out a while back. You will no longer face any kind of issues we discussed a while back if you switch to clear invoicing solution. Go for the tech first company and stop using legacy systems to solve your problems. No scale is too high for Team Clear as it routinely handles 250 million GST invoices every year and with a 99.99% .99 uptime promise. Enjoy the fastest generation speed of 5,000 invoices per minute with an assurance of data accuracy with the help of 150 plus data validations. So let me share some of the exclusive features that are sure to blow your minds. First, you get advanced user access control with different UPI IDs at the branch or GSTIN or PAN level. Further, one branch or warehouse user cannot view or take action on invoices of another branch, which also means that the branch user cannot access invoices at organizational level. View only admin, e-invoice, e, e 
non cancel are some of the access controls you can choose from two you can create a contact master at pan or gsti in or branch level three doesn't matter how complex is your organizational hierarchy clear invoicing can handle it all the clear invoicing product can generate ir runs for multiple gstis and branches in the same user account with same configuration four you can access the mis dashboard with a drill down view at pan gstin and branch levels with filters on clear invoicing web product these exclusive features can help your organization save time effort and increase efficiency by generating ir runs for multiple gstins through a single account let me help you pictureize how these features work as our product expert takes you through the clear invoicing solution hi let us look at how to add gstins and branches in an invoice and evable account for invoice and evable generation so uh, let's go to settings first you see the list of pans and gstins that are already present so if you want to add a new business unit just click on add new business units and add a new new gstin so select the gstin that you want to add and paste that here of uh, the name would be automatically selected the pan number would be automatically identified you can uh, save and close and add the api credentials later or you can also continue the nic details to generate the api credentials by logging into the invoice nic portal so for now i'll click on save and close so that gstin is already added now if i want to edit details for this uh, i can do that i can upload a logo uh, or i can rename this or delete this so these are the options available for this gstin also if i want to add nic api credentials for this i just need to go here uh, this api is this gstin does not have api credentials so i'll have to add api credentials for this select it from here uh, copy paste the or if you have the username and password handy just copy that and also add the password and click on save it is already it would be reflected in the list of gstins with api credentials so this is how you create a gstin and add api credentials now coming next uh, to how to create a branch let's say these already have branches 1 2 3 then there are warehouse 1 2 3 that are already available for the newly added gstin if i want to add a branch i'll click on add branches let's say this is a test branch one just name the branch if i want to add more branches i can click on add more row and i can add another branch click on save and submit these would be already added in the gstin that i just selected and this would also be available for evable and invoice generation so if i go here the gstin and the branches are available hi let us look at how to create users for invoicing and evable generation so again let's go to settings here you go to user access you see the already existing set of users if you want to change any access for these user you can click on manage access and modify any access that you want you can already see how many accesses they have so they have this user has admin access to three branches that is 1 2 and 3 If you want to modify any of that, you can do that from the screen. Go back to user management. You can see the list of users again. If you want to invite a new user, click on invite new user. Add the name of that user, and then add the email which is already handy with me. Select the role you want to give. So the roles that are available are admin, view only, non-cancel, invoice only, which is for generating, modifying, updating invoices. Uh, on the platform evable only access would be this would be similar as e invoice only which is generate update modify cancel these kind of access so let me go with admin access for now add a welcome message if you want uh, and then click on select business units to complete the entire setup process so you see the list of pans gstins and branches that are available so you can select let's say i want to give this branch access this complete gstin access and this two branch access 
So I can use this and click on continue. The invite would have reached the user successfully and once the user accepts it, they can generate invoices and EV bill accordingly. And the admin user who provided the access will be able to see all the invoices and EV bills that have been generated by that user. Hi, let us look at the uh, reports or MIS dashboard in the unified invoice and EVPL product. So click on reports and you get access to these two options, MIS dashboard for invoicing and MIS dashboard for EVPL. Uh, you click on MIS dashboard for invoicing and you get a monthly report for invoices that have been generated from the account. Uh, you have filters on the left where you can you know choose the business, uh, take it at a pan level, take it at a branch level or modify it according to your wish then there are multiple supply types you can change you can view how many invoices were created for b2b or um, for any other supply type like let's say b2c qr codes that has been generated or export or sec invoices and also you can check the invoices credit notes and debit notes that have been created um, coming back to the actual report section uh, what you see is you see a day-wise breakdown graph you can actually see how many have been generated on which day and these are color coded and you can also see a state for status breakdown of the invoices so there is generated not generated you also have failed and cancelled uh, which are currently not present in the time period also you can see below the graphs you can have you see two two options where you have you can check the value of the invoices that have been generated not generated cancelled and failed and you can also go a little deeper and check this at a GST and, and a pan level. Uh, the views if you want to go back to uh, the dashboards and check the evable reports they also offer a similar kind of charts which is day wise breakdown and the status wise breakdown. Again the drill down at GST and branch level is present. Also you have again different supply types you can modify the time period here change the month let's say you want to view for one full month of November so you can choose the dates from here and you get the graphs that are refreshed and this is the number of invoices that have been uh, even bills that have been created so you have part A generated not generated cancelled and failed uh, these are the options and uh, MIS dashboards that are available you can also check the document types or evables by source so evables that are created by you evables created by for my gsti and by third party or assigned to me for transport so these are the different options that are available and by document type so yeah this is all the reports that are available in the unified e-using and e so friends now that you have got much clarity on how you can save time and efforts for your enterprise staff to clear e-invoicing Make sure to save this video for future references. Do share with your corporate colleagues and friends to help them gain insights. If you find the video helpful, please support us by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to fill the form provided in the video description to win your free gift. Thank you.